hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional this is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all so without further delay let's start the today's topic and today for a change I have not prepared any PowerPoint but I just wanted to have this uh, view of this uh, specific feature which has been released in 10.0.41 and I was exploring this I thought to just record this as well so the feature name is if I go to the feature management the pair transfer order lines with the sales order line now this feature says the feature provides a capability to link between the transfer, transfer order line and the corresponding sales orders from which the transfer order line is being created it also allows user to add a new transfer order line to a open sales order uh, given a specific warehouse are same. If the item is not cash weight uh, item and with non settlement item group, then automatically mark and reserve also been supported. So if you if you remember, uh, uh, there is already a functionality in Microsoft Dynamics 365 that you can create a transfer order against a sales order line uh, which was already there but now this feature is that if you want to add additional line to your existing transfer order from the existing sales order uh, or, to, or from the new sales order that is also possible. So what we have done uh, what I have done is here I have created a sales order here and this is my sales order for 20 quantities now uh, if i go here and now if i have to create a new transfer order i can just create by clicking on this new transfer order and if i want to look at the related transfer order i can just look at here so there is a transfer order which is uh, uh, available here where so now generally how that why the transfer order will be created because i have this sales order uh, let's say for the sales order for 24 warehouse from where I have to fulfill to my customer Now I don't have inventory for this now. I have three options possibly Broader options one I create a purchase order and buy it from my supplier and then dispatch to my customer I can also manufacture for this uh, warehouse and then ship it the third is I already have the inventory in my some other warehouse. I want to transfer from that warehouse to this sales order uh, to this warehouse and then ship it. And that is the this particular scenario possibly. Okay. Now let's say this is one transfer order already exists with this and I want to add one more uh, let's say line to this and I want to select an, another product. Now here I will have let's say the one quantity only. Now if I want to link this to the same sales uh, transfer order, I will again go to my transfer order here. I will select the from warehouse. Uh, so I will select the 11. And now here I can uh, look at the transfer order which has been already created. Uh, so I can just select this and I can add this new line to my existing transfer order here. Okay. So now if you look at this, this transfer order was already there and I have one more line which has been added here. Now if I go back, uh, what I mean system also is saying, uh, I mean the, this particular feature is also saying that I can also uh, have the, I can also like if it is not possibly a cash weight item and not settlement item in the item order group, I can even have the reservation enabled automatically for this particular line when we are marking against the transfer order so right now it is not but yeah if i enable the auto reservation this also will get enabled for this so that's it about this particular feature it was a very quick feature i was just exploring this feature management workspace looking at the new features so i thought to record this hope this is going to help you on top of it top of the existing feature which you are using the against the sales order creation of the transfer order so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one